Hello, 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 Facebook Live. Hey honey, this is Val and you're in Valtopia and we were about to start a big live stream. We were in a bunch of groups, uh, Sarah, Labra and I. Um, I'm an artist and a visionary soul guide and I get on live all the time if you're just tuning into this live stream for the first time um, or as a replay. And we read your inner energy and your soul guidance and um, we read cards and we tune into you. So <laughs> my phone died and we lost the whole crew. So we're going to start over from scratch and we're going to start sharing again. Now Sarah might have to go. Um, she said she can do a few. So let's start sharing, share the live stream and we will read for you. And then I'll stay on even after Sarah has to go and I'll keep going because that's what I'm here. I'm gonna do mini ones and then get off at a certain time and be ready for sessions for you guys. Hi, Nicole. Um, so let me share in my group, Divine Brilliance for Visionary Leaders. Um, you can join Sarah in her group, part two. <laughs> um, uh, energetic Healing with Sarah. And just bear with me a moment. Hi, Lori, hi, Jennifer. While I share, it takes a few minutes to share everywhere, as you guys know. Um, but that's how we get a nice buzz of energy going. Um, let's see if we can get. Okay, so we're posting in there. So we're gonna be able to do a few. Um, Shara had a list from before, so we can see who comes back on or we can, um, we can try. So if you're just joining us, uh, we're back. My phone died um, and uh, we're coming back on. So little by little, we'll get everybody back on. Um, oh, and let me add Sarah. Hi, Jimena. How are you? Welcome back. Let me click on Sarah and invite her over. It's charging properly. I've got it plugged in and it was plugged in before, but for some reason it decided to die. There you are. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. I know. I so missed me... you. I know. I was like, no, we were just going to go oh with a good crew, too. Um, let's see. Like, I love you. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Just sharing a couple more places. I think I got everywhere. Oh, I need to share to my, my page. That's where I haven't shared to yet, I don't think. Uh -huh. I think I shared. I think. I know. So let me know, know if you've my... shared because I'm on the list. All right, so who was on? Who was first on the list? We did the group card, and you're only here for a few, and then I'll keep going. My heart chakra, somebody's heart chakra is going. Mm -hmm. and welcome, like wounded. Join on, join on. I hope we have the same crew that came back, <laughs> that comes back, that was with us before. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, Cause I, I, I hadn't know. started a list yet, just because we were like getting into. Perfect. All right, so let's okay. start with this group. Okay. Okay, so. Oh my gosh. It's like what? two of those little, um, you know, when you blow a, a dandelion? It was like two of those, and they were going together. <gasps> and then a uh, butterfly. I'm like, it's, it's us. It's us. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, so who is first? Ooh, that heart chakra. Goodness. Okay, so I have AC Tulip first. Um, oh. I'm seeing, let me know if you shared, um, because then, okay, Nicole, wait, I'm going back. Okay, Nicole. Some color for you while we're all joining on. Ooh, love. Ooh, I feel that in my heart. Good, because oh, the heart chakra is going nice. And this one. Ooh, I love that. I love the power in it. Yeah. All right, so um, AC Tulip, are we there? Uh -huh. Yes, AC Tulip. And then Jimena. Um, let us know if you've shared, and then I'll put you down on the list. Right. Hey, you're back. I'd love to be on it. Okay, so, so you AC, tune in. AC. When I tune into AC, whoa, the whole deck just fell all over the place. Whoopsie. Wow. 
So a lot of energy coming through there. <coughs> Try that again. Woo! Got a little sneeze? Yeah. So right away when I tune in, my throat's starting to pop, pop up, bubble up. I'm seeing this like big root and it's intertwined, like a big intertwined root going all the way up to the sky. It's really cool. Um, wow. Oh, I love it. And the Prince of Discs. Um, this is for AC Tulip. A Prince of Discs is about the body. I'm really feeling this throat uh, energy, throat chakra. And it's going down into the anxiety center, panic centers down here. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. Um, so um, let's see. Yeah, you're like in some, it's like a perception box. Like, oh, I can't do this because of, and it's really just a box. It's not a true container that you can't get out of. The anxiety, even though it feels very real, and I'm sure you have a, a true source of fear, um, it's, 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 you can shift it. And your heart chakra is fine now. And I felt your heart chakra before we started. So, I love Sarah, what you got? And I'll tune into the question. Okay, so instantly I saw this little seed and like this little plant, like, you know, it's like the little start, like breaking out of the seed. Um, and then I'm hearing the word uncertainty. It's like you're feeling a lot of uncertainty in your gifts and um, divine, like bringing the correct clients that you're looking for to you. Ooh, I'm going to clear. I feel it. It's like wanting to come up and out. Um, it's like you're, it's like you're harboring fear. Ooh, it's like connected with the past life. Um, and then, but like a really big thing is like, you need to share your message. Like that is just so huge for you. Share your message. And then like, I'm feeling anxiety, like in this uncertainty layer. Yeah. It's like really connected to a past life. Like, it's just like, like I just like like it feels like connected like with a mother energy um why am I spiritual oh, oh my God. yeah it's just like you really need to oh I heard you need to let go and let God like you need to let go and just start listening like, shake them off. I feel like there's, like, shackles at your ankles, but, like, you can step out of them. Like, it just, it's like yeah, they're like loose anyways on your feet. Yeah. yeah like, like, they're just kind of, like, clunky. Yeah. Like, it's not, it's like you can literally be like, oh, they're, like, not even really holding on to me. It's like, it's, it's you. It's like you can take the blindfold off. Your hands are free. So but just like the work do it. It's like the work we did this weekend, Sarah, where your reality is so deeply penetrating your perception of what is real and what you, you know, your responses to events. And then you take your, with assistance, you take yourself outside of it. Mm -hmm. it. This isn't really true for me right now. What is true for me? Or what do I want to be true for me? And how do I come in out of the box of what I think it is versus what I really want it to be? Yeah, becoming aware and, and, like, connecting with your higher self and, like, your wildest dreams and your goals and then separating it from these emotions and feelings so that then you're kind of, like, uh, you're, like, a lighthouse. Like, okay, these are just emotions that I'm dealing with. Like, they're not me. I have to tune into them to release them. But I'm able to, like, keep moving and creating um, in a positive journey and focusing forward, um, and then allow them to like come up naturally as you're going and building like this new space for yourself. Yes. Um, okay. So Ooh, it's like, Hey, <laughs> well, we, we honor your journey and we're here to support you through those difficult, um, 
you know, sometimes it's really hard to see outside of your own situation or outside of that, mm -hmm. that fear. And it's real easy for somebody else to say, it's not real, honey, you can do it. And then uh, you're in the middle of it and it, it's terrifying. So we, we're here to uh -huh. support that. Um, having yeah. trouble connecting with this as my lungs and heart are being filled with sadness. Um, okay, well, let it come up and now and love on those emotions, you know, let release it. It's okay. They're always scarier before they come, aren't they? And then when you actually feel yeah. them, it's good to, to uh -huh. So Rebecca says, what is this? A reading? Yes, darling, it's reading. Uh, Sarah and I both do readings. We, um, oh, AC says childhood wound. Okay, so well, you definitely want to tune in. Just, I, I want to say really quickly, um, yes, Sarah and I both are intuitive, psychic, uh, cosmically tuned in. We receive messages. We can receive messages from uh, soul team, soul guide, loved ones, um, your higher self. Uh, we just allow what we see, feel, and hear empathically and know when we're tuned into you. I use cards. Sarah does too. Sometimes she um, allows to come through. And then energetically, we, we, with your permission of your higher self, it's always intended that way, um, your, your energy will begin to shift and open up into what you're being called to. And then on a deeper level, these are mini readings. On a deeper level, um, we are offering this week the Illumination Zoom Room. We do have client in there. So if you'd like to join for $44, you can get a 20-minute reading. It's more in depth. It's just you. There's not a whole crew watching. We're really focused in you in a Zoom. And you can see you. I'm a Taurus too, Stacey. <laughs> and uh, we'll pick a time that works for those who sign up each week. Okay. Um, we were saying on Fridays, but we realized, okay, not everybody's available on Friday. So we'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we, have one, we have somebody this week. So that's a great way to sort of introductory, get a little bit more in depth with us. If that's not enough, then we have one-on-ones, we have group sessions, and both of us have time later, a little bit later today. So it would be great to jump on it. Um, ooh, I feel the hot chakra opening up. Uh -huh. So who's next? Um, so I have Nicole. I so need to like get better. Um, she was in the beginning. Is there a Nicole here? I, I'm going to scroll back up to the top. She like shared um, Nicole Sullivan. Okay. Hey, Nicole. Thank you, Amanda. Hi, Stacy. I would scroll on the phone and see whoever's there, but I'm afraid to knock my phone and Disturb yeah, no, off. you're good. Okay, Don't yeah, she's here, Nicole Sullivan. All right, Nicole. So, Nicole, when I tune into you, at first I, I'm not getting anything right away, and then I was getting yellow, a lot of yellow. And I'm getting an expansive opening sort of feeling in my throat. It's clearing. Excuse me. That was a big clearance. <laughs> and if, for those of you who aren't familiar with energy work, um, that, well, the way we do it, we can feel you. And then when we want to clear it, we will, we will burp or yawn. Or... Okay. Ooh, I feel a lot of heart chakra coming up and solar plexus a little bit. And the solar plexus is when we feel compromised. Our energy field is compromised. Um, so interestingly enough, the card that I drew is the energy drain card. And that's exactly what I felt in my solar plexus, Nicole. Does this resonate? Is there somebody, someone that you are giving, you are giving away? An energy drain is not them leeching onto you. It's you giving your power away. And the reason we give our power away is because we are not nourished and balanced and centered and grounded and we haven't filled our energy field out with ourselves to where ain't nobody getting in there because we have maintained and, and we've cleared our auric field. You know, we take time to be aware of where we are and what we will and won't let in, boundaries. And um, that guilt that we were just talking about, about not thinking you could take time for yourself, this is where this codependent energy drain stuff can happen. And it can leach away at everybody. Because the people who are feeding off of you need you too. <laughs> but in a healthier way. And they need to be more self-sufficient and come into their lessons. And they're not. Yeah. So, but you also got a few other cards. You got the joy card. And Nicole, let us know if this resonates. You also got the death card. <laughs> is about 
beginnings, <laughs> endings and new beginnings, right? And the four of wands is about rewards. When am I getting my rewards? When am I getting what's coming to me? Sometimes it can be about impatience. And the flip side of impatience and wondering where the earth is, being grateful for what you have, what is working, and really magnifying, amplifying that, and not focusing on the lack. Okay? So that's what came through in the reading. I feel your throat chakra shifting around, sort of bouncing between throat and heart chakra. Sarah, go, what you got, Bo? Okay, so right away, I was like feeling this, um, it's like I feel like this like intense um, sadness in your heart. Like it just feels like, like it literally feels like there's like eyeballs on my heart and they're just like crying and crying. Um, okay, so the angels are telling me that they hear your cries. Um, I don't know, it's like if you have like a brother or your mom, it's like I'm feeling this, okay, I'm feeling it now in my throat. Whew. Yeah, okay, sure. it's like it right wants here. to pass. I feel like there's like this very, um, like intense connection, like connection with your family. That's like very, it's like they, it's like suffocating. I just heard the word like suffocating. It's like they feed on your energy in energy. your family. Yeah. Uh-huh. So it's like you're needing to, it's like you're about to break free from your family. And it's like you're needing to just um, trust in that the ground will appear as you move forward. The ground will appear as you move forward, like with money, your job, um, play. It's like they want you to be more playful in your work and like slowly disting yourself from like these people that are draining on your energy. Yes, yes. Well, yeah, they want you to like clown around, uh-huh. And that comes from um, filling out your own time, right? So uh, the, the, I love this. Why do I like people? <laughs> Why am I a winner? And how do I feel when I'm positive? And the throat chakra is clearing. The heart chakra is, is still releasing and will probably release a, a more today, it feels like. There's a lot of stuff to touch. Yeah, I feel like the throat's like opening up. And there's like all these, it's like, there's like fairies like all around me. I'm like, please. Like, I just like a lot of fairies are coming through for her. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Okay. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Love you, but like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fairies. She <laughs> makes a lot of sense. Okay. Good. All right. Uh -huh. So thank you, Nicole. Who do we have next? Um, I'm going to find, I, I think it was Jamina. I'm like scrolling back. Jamina. Comment if you're still here. Yes. Did we just get a yes? Okay. Is it Jimena? Jimena. All right. It was me. Am I saying it right? I'm sorry. And if there's a big group where I can meet some new people, when Sarah and I can be introduced to some new people, share it, honey. Share it for us. We want to get to know uh, everyone. Let's see. And open up. <laughs> see, Jimena. Jimena, mm -hmm. bueno. Okay, we just light a little sage okay. here. And Sarah, how are you on your time? Do you need to go get your bubba? Um, twelve thirty. I'm okay. Like I would say two more, um, because they're gonna be like hanging out. My son has like parent teacher conferences, so. Okay. But they like we have to like sit on this waiting list, so it's like he'll just be chilling anyways. Okay. All right. So Jimena, let me tune into you. Ooh, I, oh my gosh, I just cleared energy on Nicole finally. <laughs> yeah, mine was right as she was ending. I could feel it. Um, that's good. Okay. Uh, to yeah. a lot of my cousins. Yeah, I'm feeling you. I, it's interesting. I don't often feel um, all my lower chakras when I tune into someone else. I tend to attract people that are in their throat and their heart and stuff. But I started feeling some um, down in my womb. I felt some sort of sh uh, energy down there, which is good um, to connect to it, that we must be connected on some level. I also saw a really beautiful sort of um, stone uh, 
uh, almost like a crystal grid, but with, with these beautiful pale stones. And I think I'm picking up on some past life energy for you as a sort of um, a priestess in the, like a native priestess in the Aztec, you know, like Aztec. Um, I'm feeling like I'm seeing that kind of space. I'm feeling your throat chakra starting to sort of tighten up at the base. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful vision I'm seeing. Um, I'm seeing like these hands and they go like this and then inside of the hand is outer space, like stars and deep space and the hands are, and then all around is this beautiful um, violet crown chakra color, amethyst. Wow. Um, a card coming forward for you. A bunch of cards flew out. Let's see. I feel like I need to make sure it's the right one. Oh, that throat chakra is rising up a little bit. Um, it's a self-doubt throat chakra thing and some heart chakra. I love how it just starts to open up and 